Welcome to this Q Interactive video tutorial demonstrating how you can modify an incorrect date of birth for a client and update your assessment session within Assess. After logging into Assess, you'll want to start by selecting the assessment session you need to change the client's date of birth for and navigate to the Interview tab. Some of the field headers on the Interview tab are colored red and this indicates that these fields can be modified within the app. To modify the client's date of birth, tap on the Enter Date of Birth to the right of the header. This results in a window appearing, allowing you to modify the date of birth. After any changes have been made, tap anywhere outside the window to close it and update the client's date of birth. Modifying the date of birth results in a notification window to appear letting you know that scores for subtests that have already been administered have not been updated to reflect the new date of birth. If you have already started administering subtests of the selected battery, you'll need to navigate back into the assessment and view at least one item from each completed subtest using the review mode. To do this, navigate to the battery tab and click on either the resume or review button to reopen the assessment. Within the assessment, Tap on the sidebar icon in the upper left-hand corner to view all of the subtests that comprise your battery, and then tap on one of the completed subtests. Tapping on the subtest displays all of the test items, and selecting one of these will open the review mode. Once review mode is open, all you need to do is tap on the Done button to close review mode. Closing out of review mode recalculates the subtest scores, and will now reflect the modified date of birth. From here, you need to follow the same steps for any other subtests that have been completed. Closing out of the assessment and returning to the home screen prompts Assess to sync with Central, resulting in any completed subtest scores to update within the client's profile. Thanks for watching.